Hello everyone, this is Nikita. Thank you for joining me in this video. So in this video, I will take you around Pega Academy and we will understand that if you have to sign up to, sign up to Pega and if you are someone who is uh, not in an organization already, so uh, how can you get, get started and uh, use Pega Academy by itself? So uh, let me go to the Pega Academy. Uh, so this is how the website looks like, right? Uh, so what you have to do is if you have to uh, if you are not in an organization which is a partner or a client with Pega, then you have you would have to uh, sign up with your personal email address. Even signing up with a personal email address is okay because you would be able to use the Pega Academy resources. Some other feature would not be available to you, but uh, Pega Academy is fully available, right? So now if you can see, I have uh, logged in with my personal email address. So this is how it would look. So if you have to search any course in Pega, you would have to go here. Let me uh, search for system architect course. So I have searched for system architect and this is something which is available to me at the very first. So this is the basic course. Uh, you would have to go through this course if you have just started with uh, Pega system uh, software. right? So this is how it would be. There are different uh, things in this. You will have to go through each one of them and do a hands on. After you have gone through this, you would also have to do a hands-on. So you might not be able to download the personal edition uh, if you have not logged in with your company email address. So instead what you have to do is you have to uh, go and uh, sign up for the 30-day trial for Pega software. You have to give your phone number here and then you would be shown something like this where you can directly you know, create your application. So this is how it would look. After you have uh, done your course and do, did a hands-on, uh, you have to register for the exam. Right? So I would go here and search for certified system architect core exam. Okay, so Pega certified system architect, right? This is something which you have to select. Then you would have to register for the exam from here. Uh, you would be told to create a Pearson U account and uh, you would be redirected there and you have to do your payment from there. Okay, so this is what you have to do. So this is all about the video. Uh, so this was only about, you know, uh, how how can you uh, do a trial edition of Pega and uh, you know, do your stuff here and how to use your Academy. So thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. Thanks till then. Bye-bye.